Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video. And in this video, I will show you another transformation technique with which you can basically transform or work with on numeric data. For example, if you have scenarios, let's say where you want to add one on each of the values or any number to each of the values, right? You want to add, let's say five to each of these values, or you want to subtract one from each of the value, then all of this operation becomes really cumbersome where you know, you need to know the formula, the M formula and do that operation like multiplication, division, all of that type of thing. So uh, I want to show you a simple way as to how you can perform these simplistic operation without even writing any formula. And uh, before that, just a quick information. If you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about the data set that I'm using is present in this data set folder. So the link for data set is present in description with within the data set. Uh, you need to come in Power BI. And the data set is this one which I'm using, right? And uh, this is another sheet, the Google sheet, where I keep all of my videos. The video title is present here. So I have 280 plus videos right now. That way, you know, searching become really difficult in YouTube directly. So that's why I've created this sheet. You can come here, search any of my video. For example, you want to search for DAX. So all the videos related to DAX will be highlighted and that way you can get the desired output and uh, using the link which is present in column B you can jump onto that video. Also the difficulty level is present and I'm still populating the uh, topic category. So with that let me uh, come back to Power Query. So make sure you bookmark this sheet and, uh, and use it whenever you need it right. So it is to help you. So you have quantity. Let's say we want to add one. So what I'll do is I'll select this column and I have this under the transform menu. I have standard and in the standard I have add. And as you can see, it's quite simple. I need to add one. What I do, I basically add one in each of this and the end operation is done, right? Let's say I want to modify that. I, I felt like, no, 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 I don't need to add one, but I need to add two. You know, no need. Simply, you know, I click on this gear icon and now it is add it so that operation becomes really easy and if you will see you have addition to add value you have multiply let's say you want to multiply by some some other value two three four five for required operation you can do that you have subtract divide integer divide you have modulo which is nothing but the remainder of the division you have percentage you want to calculate a percentage especially in those tax taxation sort of a scenario right or a growth percentage and stuff like that if you want to apply on that and you have percent of calculation which is a percent of whatever value which is present so it's like 20 percent of 11 will what will what it will be so all of that becomes really easy you simply click over there specify the value and it will give you the output so that is something which i wanted to show you the standard uh, mathematical operation how you can easily apply rather than searching for a column searching for let's say m function or function you know which which will give you the desired output rather than that you can basically get a use of this uh, inbuilt functionality and get the desired output so that is something which i wanted to let you know and hope you will going to use it if you have any question let me know and i'll help you figuring out this uh, uh, you know your particular scenario if i can if i'm uh, aware of that so with that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.